Sonata on A to Kulu believes unity and a collective purpose, combined with an improved playing pool, can help propel Newcastle Falcons up the Aviva Premiership table this season. The Falcons' eighth-placed finish was their highest league ranking in 11 seasons, Tekulu are among their star turns with six premiership tries and a goal-kicking strike rate of 88%, the second highest in the division based on a minimum of 20 attempts. Having spent the summer helping Tonga secure their place at Rugby World Cup 2019 in Japan the former Northland scrum half is now back on Tyneside and gearing up for the Aviva Premiership kickoff at home to Worcester Warriors on Friday, September 1. The big thing for me here at Newcastle is the culture, said the 26-year-old, who was part of a contingent hosting a traditional Pacific Islands barbecue for Falcons players and club staff last week. It was already good, but it's getting even better. The senior players are really helping the younger guys, we all help each other and it extends to off-field stuff as well. Everyone is close to each other here and the bond within the squad is really a standout feature. With summer sinnings including Fijian International Center Josh Matavzi, Yorkshire Carnegie Captain Ryan Burrows, fly half Toby Flood, Canada's record try scorer DTH Van der Mever and three-time French title winner Maxime Memos, expectations are high going into the campaign. Tekulua hopes to remain a key part of that, and can take considerable momentum from his international exploits during the Pacific Nations Cup. The summer tour for Tonga was very successful in terms of qualifying for the Rugby World Cup, he said, having also featured prominently in their international against Wales in Auckland. We beat Samoa in our first game which kept us ahead of them, and even though we ended up losing to Fiji we still made it to the World Cup due to Fiji beating Samoa in the final round. It was also great for Tonga to be able to play a test match on home soil in Nuku'alifa for the first time in something like nine years, and the crowd really appreciated being able to watch the team. I had some of my family there so it was an emotional experience, and one I'll always remember. It was a big relief to secure that World Cup spot for Japan 2019, and we now need to focus on the next step. Likewise with Newcastle, because we finished last season strongly and were working hard to make sure that continues through the start of 201,718. We will try to continue that work and push it on another level, and when you look at the players we have there's no reason why we can't win even more games. Everyone is doing their job, we're looking good as a group and there's a massive excitement among the boys about the start of the Aviva Premiership. Newcastle Falcons' next home game is this Saturday when they host championship side Rotherham Titans in a 4.30pm kickoff at Kingston Park Stadium. Entry is free for season ticket members. Non-season ticket members can book for just £10 adults and £5 juniors by calling 0871 226 6060. August 16, 2017 1321 2017 2018 Newcastle Falcons News Sonata Ne Tekulu believes unity and a collective purpose, combined with an improved playing pool, can help propel Newcastle Falcons up. August 16, 2017 1244 2017 2018 News Wasp Star Young has named a 26-man squad to take on Ulster Rugby at Kingspan Stadium in the first pre-season fixture. August 15, 2017 1617-2017-2018 Anglo-Welsh News Worcester Warriors have the honour of hosting the opening match in this year's Anglo-Welsh Cup on Friday 3 November, when August 15, 2017 1614-2017-2018 Newcastle Falcons News Ally Hogg believes Newcastle Falcons are well set to attack the new Aviva Premiership season after a double dose of August 15, 2017 1547-2017-2018 London Irish News Topsy Ojo believes there could be no more fitting way for London Irish to announce the return as an Aviva, August 15, 2017 1326-2017-2018 Newcastle Falcons News Newcastle Falcons Sonata Ne Tekulua insists his side's September clash with Saracens in Philadelphia will be no holiday for the players, August 15, 2017 1242-2017 2018 Harlequins Harlequins can confirm today Tuesday 15 August that flanker Luke Wallace dislocated his hip during the pre-season friendly against London, August 15, 2017 1138-2017-2018 Anglo-Welsh London Irish News London Irish will host Bath Rugby at the Medeski Stadium in the opening round of the Anglo-Welsh Cup on Saturday. 
August 14, 2017 1356-2017-2018 Community News A teenager from Lee who overcame a troubled home life and tackled confidence and communication issues thanks to Premiership Rugby, August 14, 2017 1041-2017-2018 London Irish News London Irish Director of Rugby Nick Kennedy is looking forward to seeing his side build on Saturday's thrilling contest against August 13, 2017 1208-2017-2018 Newcastle Falcons News Saracens Nick Chavetta has had an unlikely path to the top level but as he prepares to embark on his second season. August 11, 2017 1539-2017-2018 Harlequins News Harlequins fly half Dimitri Katrakilis has revealed he is ready to join forces with compatriot and old acquaintance Tim Sweel, insisting. August 11, 2017 1435-2017-2018 News Worcester Warriors Warriors will look to use up to 37 players during their fixture against Hartbury College this Saturday in their first. August 11, 2017 1408-2017-2018 News Saracens Saracens are offering up to eight free tickets to any member of the London Emergency Services for the upcoming London, August 11, 2017 1351-2017-2018 Newcastle Falcons News Three-time French title winner Maxime Melmos is among the Newcastle Falcons players making their debuts in Saturday's home doubleheader, August 11, 2017 1304-2017-2018 2018 Bath Rugby News Josh Lewis and James Phillips will make their Bath Rugby debuts in the club's first pre-season game against Bristol Rugby, August 11, 2017 1240-2017-2018 London Irish News London Irish have named a 29-man squad for tomorrow's Cunningham Duncombe series against Harlequins at Hazelwood, with seven summer signings. August 11, 2017 1008-2017-2018 Newcastle Falcons News Having spent the summer helping his country qualify for the Rugby World Cup American lock Nick Chavetta is keen to August 10, 2017 1206-2017-2018 Harlequins News Harlequins is thrilled to announce today Thursday 10 August that England back row Chris Robshaw has resigned with the club.